All right, so another thing you should be working on this week as you're reading along with your essay, and this will be the subject of your first discussion form posting for this week, is I'm going to want you to share with me an example of you engaging the annotation process of the reading itself. Now, this is the introduction to Super Gods by Grant Morrison. And what I want to do here is that, and I will share something with you guys in class on Wednesday, but when you're engaging in this process of annotation, it is really subjective to however best you want to apply it. And people do it differently. Um, for example, I like to encourage down here at the bottom here this idea of circling words you don't understand. That's if you have a printed copy of it. But sometimes you may jot down words you don't understand in a, in a notebook, and you might write a question mark to it. That just means you should be encouraging yourself to go find out what that word means so that you can make sure you have a clear understanding and meaning of the text itself. And, it's, and I open up here with this idea that annotating is any action that deliberately interacts with the text to enhance the reader's understanding of, recall of, and reaction to the text, sometimes called close reading. Annotating usually involves highlighting or underlying key pieces of text and making notes in the margins of the text. This can easily just be done as something you writing this down on in a notebook. And what you ultimately to share with me in the discussion forum that's due Wednesday night, and I'll remind you of this tomorrow in class, is you're simply going to be sharing with me a sampling so you can take a picture of what you did in the notebook I really just want to see that you're engaging with the process the example I tagged at the bottom here comes from Hunter College and it talks about some more information about annotating a text and what typically you're doing when you do a well annotated text and it talks about different things you can do um, as well descriptive outline but the best thing I like about this is that there's a sample and this sample contains really four parts and the left hand column here they have actually given a descriptive outline where you can they followed along and they walk you through the structure of the essay and the right hand column in bold they have the main ideas which I'm assuming are interconnected to the underlying which may just be things they want to quote and then things in italics are obviously comments of their own perhaps even questions they want to know more about to better understand the text itself and if you follow along here you can see how that works but the idea being here is that there really isn't one way to annotate a text um, I'm going to share with you guys in class an example of one that I've done and what I want you to share with me in the Moodle discussion forum is simply an example of you engage in the process so if you hand wrote this on a copy of the reading great take a picture of it submit it if you didn't and you read it on a screen and you just made notes in a notebook, take a picture of one of your pages, upload it. I really just want to see that you make sure that you have a clear understanding and we will be going over and I will be sharing with you an example of this in class tomorrow as well. But the idea behind anything involving annotations is really designed to help you get a better grasp and a better understanding of what it is you're engaging with because that's the important aspect here because in order for you to write a good response essay with a good summary and a good response where you bring in your personal experience citing the text and outside source material which we'll talk more about you need to make sure that you clearly understand and have an in-depth understanding of the text itself and that's why we're doing this